example, and I believe I made a point that we cannot trust today's Quran just looking at the Islamic tradition. Let me move on to the, my next question. This link with Arabic, I am sure you will be willing to share your expertise with us on this Yahya. So Surah 2, 222. I'll give you a minute to read the surah that you know what, what is context. Surah 2, 222. Can we make sure that peace of Christ be with you, brother? Happy Can we make sure that um, brother with the Canadian top is okay? Surah 2, 222. What does it mean if there are two very different meanings? Uh, like application application is different, and Muslim makes a claim. Are you Muslim man? Uh, no. no. So Muslim makes a claim there is only one Quran, dot by dot, letter by letter, word by word, sound by sound is exactly being preserved. Allah confirms the preservation of the book in the Quran. So if there are different Qurans and their meaning is different, that simply debunks the basic claims and the foundation of Islam. Okay, have you read the 222? Okay. I read it to you in English. Uh, in uh, yes, in English. But before I read... I don't, I don't speak Arabic, yeah, yeah, you know that. But you speak Arabic. Arabic the, you speak Arabic. Arab. yeah. You speak Arabic. Therefore, I think you are able to help me in this occasion because you will see I am desperately in need of help right now. Okay? Yes, you so, always need help. I know. I am, yeah. And thanks to Lord Jesus Christ who came as my helper. Thanks to Lord Jesus Christ who came as my savior. So, when your wife is having her menstruation do you have sex with her soon after her menstruation finished or you have sex with her after she has a bath after she has a, a bath. after bath yeah after she's washed herself so when do you when are you allowed to have sex with her my wife you know i can enjoy her the way i wish as long as i don't do penetration during her menstrual period is that is that uh, enough? I can enjoy the rest of her body without intercourse. Great, great, great. Good for you, Yahya. Let me ask my question again. When are you allowed to have sex with your wife? Here's my options. When she's in her menstruation. The moment her menstruation is finished, or you have to wait until she has a bath. Listen, two options. I'm not asking how and why you enjoy your wife. I am asking different questions. Okay. As soon as she is clean of the blood, I'm allowed to approach her. As long as she is not clean, I'm not allowed to approach her with the intercourse, which we know where it should be. Can I ask a question? Not to... I obviously I respect every religion and whatever they think, but um, I'm I'm not Muslim, but I do respect Muslims. But say for example, I think this conversation assumes that women's periods are not clean, when it's a very natural thing. We rely on a woman's period for you know to produce later for her biological development. But I think the conversation it kind of goes back to like, well, what does a woman want? Is she, is she happy with having sex? Like, I think we need to center women's choices in the matter. Rather than, but I do respect that, you know, I'm coming from a position where I'm not part of that culture, so I'm not judging one or the other. I'm just saying maybe, like, um, a the, period's usually, not dirty. Usually the husband should as well look after uh, his mental state of his wife if she is ready or not. And uh, uh, there's between men and women, there should be uh, uh, some kind of understanding when they are. It's not about forcing my wife uh, yeah, into no. it, but uh, she can understand if I need to, uh, to like, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, you, you know, 
to express myself and I understand when she is in need as well because we are after all a human and we have feeling and passion and it's the best way is uh, and the course of of lawful things not in a kind of uh, harsh way because you you know men and women we we live in a harmony and they are partner and they are they share the same life so i will make a comment in uh, on that in a bit but i just want to kind of make this very clear so yeah can you remind me your answer regarding when are you able to have sex with her the moment her menstruation is finished or you need to wait until she has a bath what what may is that make difference for you can I, uh, you answer me then no, i will no, answer I, you. I must... what what does that make any difference for you if it will uh, help as, you too as i said as i said when actually she is clean from the blood if she have a shower it will she will be even more clean okay if so you, you don't have to wait for I'm, shower correct uh, unless i cannot wait till she have a shower and uh, uh, appropriately clean that mean i'm i'm dying for it and uh, you know you are not answering my question i'm trying so i am a, i am very much sure this is like very not very good subject but uh, the subject is beautiful by the way great great yeah. you are enjoying on those subjects and, and yeah I yeah listen that, my question and i know yeah, that yeah. you don't listen have a my question so what can, does <laughs> what does what does islam teaches when it comes to menstruation of the woman in her sexual um in the sexual relationship do you have to wait until her bleeding is stopped or you have to wait according to islam until she, her bleeding is stopped and she washed herself she cleansed herself so which one okay number one or number two yeah yeah one or two okay uh, i can i can uh, either if i cannot wait for her to wash I can approach her because she's clean already. Okay. Or, or I can wait till after she wash and I can approach her. Okay. And, and both way so, I can approach her because she's was, clean. She's clean of the blood. My question was, what does Islam say? So according to your Islam states, the moment she's clean from her okay. from bleeding, you are allowed to approach okay. her. Correct? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, the prophet peace upon him yeah 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 the, the yeah, prophet yeah. peace upon him yeah, yeah. something i will give you time uh, I, i'm to i answer. will give you time to go to the traditions which you were disagreeing in a bit I'm so to i all to i am you. trying to do right now to understand what is your answer so are you allowed to have sex with her the, when her bleeding is stopped or you have to wait until she is being washed whatever you give her she will keep uh, just uh, no, I because she, she is that sir, sir uh, you answer, you answer, when, you answer yeah. it when do you when have her period finishes and she takes a shower then she's pure then okay 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 so are you agreeing with him what i'm saying is the prophet peace upon him whenever he was given the choice and the matter he takes the easy one to make it easy for his follower and there's no issue if the man is not able to wait till she have uh, washed or not uh, why so you great you, great uh, that our, you are breaking our, those answers faith, i want to express first of all i want to express first of all faith, gentleman who is here he expressed he needs to wait until she has been washed until she has a shower which is like in islamic tradition will be ghusl the, the, after that he is able to approach her according to yahya it will be just self control but he is allowed to approach her when, the moment when she finished her the, the moment her bleeding is finished so according to him after the shower according to yahya when the bleeding is finished no, so he's, he's from different perspective so said, the perspective we is coming we are we are from the yeah he's uh, so desperate uh, he couldn't uh, wait his wife to have so, shower he's so, going to jump on his uh, wife so said, let me let this, me let me bring what islamic tradition tells us yeah yeah uh, in this occasion this i think so, this is the right moment for you to turn to surah 2 222 and then tell me what is it in surah 2 222 allah is instructing you so what does allah tell you when can you have sex with your wife uh, during okay. her menstruations okay. the verse itself if you read it 
Yes, let's read it. That means when they are clean, and they, if they are clean still without having a shower, it's okay, according to the verse itself. According to the verse itself, so the condition of approaching my woman when she is clean, clean, it doesn't mention well, if there's no uh, issue for the blood, it's a clean, she's a clean. Okay, if so, no thank, blood, thank you, that was very clean. helpful, Yahya. Yahya, that was very helpful, thank you. So, she can pray also. She's a pure already. Why is No, I'm not. Now you give me a dust, okay? I'm silly, I think. No, you can't do that, bro. You can't do that. So why are you disagreeing with him? You can't do that. Maybe he's a So according to you, you have to wait. Uh, according to you, you have to wait until the ghusl. Wait till her, the period is done. And she have a shower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And according to him, he doesn't have to wait. He's saying you just, you just go in. No. No, no. I, I don't okay. confirm so that. Okay. So that's good. Said. That's good. We noticed, we, we noticed the difference in Muslim interpretation. But let me take us to the Quran. Yeah, yeah. What does Quran tell you? Can you read it again for me, please? Can you walk a little bit, one step back for me? A husband to have a sexual intercourse with his wife while she is having her mens. Therefore, keep away from women during mens and do not go not into them until they are purified. When they are purified, that it means either uh, their blood is stopped and they are clean, either they took ghusl. If they didn't okay. take ghusl and you are just desperate, you cannot wait for her, uh, it's up to you. Okay, let uh, me understand this. Is what this. I'm saying. Okay. Before you understand, no, let, I, me, I'm, no, no, let no, me No, 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 that, that was long. the part I am focused. No, no, I, I'm, I need to understand oh, that. Yeah, yeah, help oh, me to understand. You are, you the, you are the Muslim, you are the Arabic speaker, please help me to understand. Quran expressed itself, well detailed, well explained, and now you've got two options. While it says purify themselves, so you are interpreting that either when the bleeding is stopped or when she has the bath or shower or the ghusl. So now you've got two options, while the verse doesn't give you the option. So is that correct? When I'm talking, you cannot wait for me to uh, to answer. I am and, waiting and for I'm you to answer. To you, I'm just I trying to like un understand what you are room. saying, yeah, yeah. You just want to ask, but you don't want to hear anything I say. This is not the integ Besides integration room. All what I this explained, is speaker's you corner. Still, you still, I, I'm not going to be able to convince you because you already make up your mind and the, you say that the Quran is false, Allah is false, Muhammad is false. Bring your Bible and prove it for me that is the truth okay. from your Lord. Okay. So now, um, just for the clarification purposes, just for the clarification purposes, it's not about you to come with me or not. It is you to able to explain why there are differences in these words. Quran is supposed to be well detailed, well explained. You just read the verse, which you inter my question was to you this. When are you able to have sex with your wife? When in her uh, menstruation, when she's having her menstruation. So you said you don't have to wait until she has her shower. Versus your brother who walked away from you by identifying, oh, are you Shia? He was questioning your faith. He said he has to wait until she has her shower. No, so the there were, there were, Different response to my basic question. No, 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 then no, the question. I took you to Quran. No, you, no, you I asked, what does the Quran say? You read the half Quran for me, and you said, you said, purify themselves, and you interpreted that either you have sex with them once their bleeding stops, or you said, or either you wait until they have shower. You've got two options. What did Allah say? What does Allah's will? What does he want you to do? Does Allah want you to wait until woman has shower? Or does Allah want you to wait until woman stop bleeding? Those are two okay. different things and implications of implications of them are different in Muslim life. 
as well as there are different Arabic Qurans out there. In one Quran, you have to wait until until she has shower. In other Quran, no, you can have sex with her before she has her shower when her bleeding stops. Here's the two Qurans, Yahya. The condition is the purifying. If a woman How is she's purified, been purified already, how is she being blood, purified? If with a woman, water. Uh, listen, listen, listen. If the woman already purified from from the blood, that she's already ready to be made to mate. If she's not purified, I'm not allowed to have to uh, uh, intercourse with her. And uh, th this is if there is no water, for example, and she uh, she's not bleeding. So I don't have a, 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 I cannot uh, approach her. You know? I am not Allah. Don't ask me those questions, Yahya. You're not Allah. Simply answer my really? question. I'm sorry that you are Who surprised you that you I am not Allah. Who told you you are Allah? So, focus now. Focus now. My question is, what does Allah say? Okay? You read the Quran, and in that Quran, you told me you don't have to wait until she washes herself. Okay? Here is another Quran. Can you be kind enough and then read this verse for me? You read it. You read it. You cannot. Is that is that the quality now? You read it. So Surah 2, 222. Yathurna is in the house, which is become pure. That means that when she stopped bleeding, in the color of Quran, it is Yat Yathar Hara, which is purified themselves. Which means after her menses her menstruation finishes. After her bleeding stops, she needs to have shower. So there are two different Qurans, and the word is being used in these two different Qurans are different. Therefore, it was not surprising for me to see another Muslim practices this differently because there are different Qurans out there which is simply expressing this. It's not only that, this is even in the different schools of Islam. I am assuming Yahya is Hanafi school. Are you from Hanafi school, Yahya? Tonight at 8, uh, live, is Islam true or false? Uh, with Islam defender Yahya, uh, please watch it live. Uh, I think that answer my question is Yahya is Hanafi. Hanafi school of Islam simply does not need to wait until woman washes herself. Versus Malik school and Imam Ahmed school, you need to wait until woman is washes herself for you to have sex with her. See, that's the point I'm trying to make. Examples after examples, examples after examples, what we see, Muslims are disagreeing with one another. What did Allah reveal at the first place? Examples after examples, what we are seeing is Allah is giving, according to Muslims, one verse in many different ways, which the content and the application and the meaning of those words and verses are different. I find that it's very disgraceful. Muslims still today state that there is only one Quran which has been perfectly preserved, while even the reading of the current Quran divides Islam with itself. So, Yahya, let me ask you my next question, Yahya. Before you ask, uh, prepare it. Uh, actually, it, it does not take you out of Islam, the fault of Islam, if you, uh, your, your, your woman have a shower or didn't have a shower. What's the basic sorry, belief? Sorry, sorry, say that about, again. Yeah, yeah, say that, that again. Uh, you, you will hear it. No, yeah, the, yeah, 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 you are talking to me. Just turn no, no, to me and then I'm say it again. The, the message. Yeah, yeah. Uh, turn for, to me for, and then for, say it again. The Quran message, for our message is about your submission to God and do the will of God by obeying God and do what God telling you to do. And if then you the problem steps in. Shower, problem is this. You if you, if you, if the message of the Quran, obeying Allah and following Allah, then my question still stands. 
What did Allah say to you that you've got to obey? Did Allah tell you, wait until your wife washes herself? Or did Allah tell you, wait until her bleeding stops? What did Allah say? Yes, I hear you want to obey Allah. You want to obey Allah. But the question is, what did he say at the first place? I gave you examples after examples. I gave you the example. Is Allah all knowing, all wise, all hearing, all that junk? What did Allah reveal in that verse? At the first place, I gave you the example of the Zakum, Surah 44. Who did Zakum, tree of Zakum for? What did Allah reveal at the first place? I hear that you want to obey Allah. But what did Allah said at the first place that you've got to obey? That's a big, big question for Muslim to answer. And so far, what is the answer we get? Zero. Because they have no answer besides calling one another the disbelievers. Condition, the condition is purifying. So when the woman is purified, how? you can approach her. So how, how she is being purified? Way, way, you take it the way you, you like. I'm not going to uh, talk another 10 minutes about the same subject. So, this, now what, what we hear is the word, magical word is the purified. Purified. That's the magical word. But Purified. What is the, the question is how? And what is the magical answer to that magical word? She can wipe no off. No answer. If she doesn't have a shower, she can listen, wipe off and listen. she will be clean. So that is obeying Yahya. That is not obeying Allah. That is obeying Yahya. And uh, I, twist, I twist. want to tell you once don't again, twist, don't twist. when you follow Allah, Allah takes you to hell. When you follow Yahya, when you obey Yahya, Yahya takes you to hell. It is only Lord Jesus Christ, eternal word of God, perfect God man, who stepped into this world, when you follow him, he will take you to the bosom of the Father. Allah takes you to hell. Yahya takes you to hell. Lord Jesus Christ, eternal Son of God, takes you to heaven. We know where he gone anyway, according to you. Uh, didn't he descend, uh, descend to Hadith after uh, the crucifixion, according to you? Can I ask you another question on Arabic? Uh, why, why don't we arrange? Can uh, I ask you another question on Arabic? Why don't we arrange a debate about nature of God according to the Bible and Quran, and we I can had, do it live? I had many discussions with you about the nature of God. I want to ask. I want to get your Arabic expertise, and then ask you another question linked with Arabic. Is that okay? No, no, no. It's not no, okay. It's not okay. Because, That's fine. Uh, because come to me when it is okay, Yahya. Yeah, yeah. One hour discussion to be honest is degrading for me just to talk to you. Yes, yeah, he is being degraded by just talking to me. Because why? Because my questions because my questions are not being answered. What were my questions? If you believe the perfect preservation of the Quran, my question is what did Allah reveal at the first place? And what is the answer to that magical question? No answer. No answer. I find that's double amazing. And now it is, he's being disgraded, degraded by simply talking to me.